listeners all over the world, I take this opportunity to welcome you into our Sunday service. This is a Sunday not like the other one. This is a Sunday whereby somebody is going to be blessed. I want you to bring your mind, your heart, your soul unto this place. Even as we usher into a worship, I want you to be close. I want you to tap into this anointing. You will never remain the same. Oh, oh. I welcome the servant of God who is going to usher us into the worship. Somebody prepare for it. Father, we bless you, Lord. We give you honor for this time. We lift you high above every other day. There is no one compared to you. Our wealth, our riches, our money, nothing can be compared to you. We take the first position. And we never remain the same again. Touch our lives. Touch everybody that will listen to this. Touch their families, Lord. Touch the country, King of Glory. And let your will be done. In Jesus' mighty name.
says that faith is built by hearing the word of God. It is another time that you need to hear the word of God. It is another time that you need to be pushed to the next level. Therefore somebody somewhere help me welcome the servant of God. None other than Apostle Brian that the Lord has chosen this particular day to minister unto our hearts to minister unto our minds to bring change to somebody listening to him in Jesus mighty name amen hallelujah I bless the Lord for today for God is great mighty and worthy in our lives yes he is the mighty God Yes, you are the Lord, most high. Yes, you are the Lord, most I sing it now. Yes, you are the Lord, say again, most high. Yes, you are the Lord, hallelujah, most high. Oh, yes, you are the Lord, most high. Yes, you are the Lord, most high. Yes, you are the Lord. Yes, you are the Lord, mighty Jesus. Lord. We bless the Lord for this day. For uh, we know that He is the Lord, the Most High. You know, I want us to share something about relationship. Relationships. Relationships. I want us to understand that relationships are advantageous connections. Everything in life reproduces itself in the basis of a relationship. So when we talk about relationship, we are talking about something which is connecting a person to a person. 
We are talking about the state of being connection. Praise be to God. So I want us to, under, to understand something about a relationship. You'll come to learn that you will never rise on this life without a relationship. Let me tell us today that God has created a man for a man. What do I mean? That the greatest gift God can give you as a person is a man. Hallelujah. So relationship, there are advantageous connection. They, it is something which is very advantageous. And when we learn to rely and to walk connected in the right relationship, then our lives becomes a life of a transformation. You'll come to learn that relationship is the capital you need. Relationship is the money you need. Relationship is the partner you need. Relationship is the wealth you need. Relationship is the business you need. Relationship. Relationship. Hallelujah. You know, we are talking today together because of the relationship I have with you today. I could not meet you people. I could not talk to you. You could not hear my voice. You could not watch me if we could not be having a relationship. Maybe somebody connected you with me. Maybe somebody connected you with Jesus Alive Gospel Embassy. And that is why we are talking today. And that is what a connection can do. Relationship. You know, every influential man in earth has emotions. What do I mean? These people have emotions and if you connect with them aright, then you become the next influential man. If you connect to, the, uh, to a millionaire aright, you become the next millionaire. And that is why I am talking to us today about relationship. When you connect to the right people, your life is transformed to the betterment. When you connect to the right friend, your life is transformed to a betterment. Hallelujah. Relationships. Relationships. You know, sometimes we connect wrongly with people. Sometimes we tend to look people like they can't help us because of the wrong relationship we have. And you will come to note that when you have a right relationship with some people, there are people maybe who can take your life to another dimension. You may be interested that I want to have a global impact. The global impact which you want is inside a relationship. Praise God. You will meet a man of God who will, who will take your hand and move you to the next level. You will meet a friend who will hold your hand and move you to the next level. Because of a relationship. Hallelujah. I want us to understand one thing. We see this man who is in a beautiful get. Each and every time we see the servant of the servants of God going to the beautiful get. But one day when the servants of God are going into the house of God. They meet this man in the beautiful gate. And this man requests that the servant of God could help him something. Then the servant of God comes, looks at this man and tells the man, silver and gold we don't have. But in the name of the Lord Jesus, rise up and walk. Relationship. Relationships can make you walk when you cannot walk. Relationships can make you go farther when you are not meant to go farther. Relationships. When this man met the servants of God, 
due to their relationship at that time he was able to walk again hallelujah one thing i learned when i read that scripture the bible records that the servants of god they they, they, they hold his hands hallelujah so i noted we need sometimes people to hold our hands they remind us of something when jesus goes to somewhere jesus goes to a place where people are are, are being taken uh, uh, they they are blessed in water so that they can be healed and we see a man who is complaining and telling jesus that you know what I don't have anybody who can take me to this well. I don't have anybody who can take me where there is healing. What do I mean? Sometimes we need people who can take us to greatness. Relationship. Hallelujah. As we speak, I want us to look in our lives and ask ourselves are we in the right relationship i want us to understand about the relationship with the holy spirit i'm talking to you today as a servant of god because of the relationship i have with the holy spirit i learned that we can have a relationship with the holy spirit which may transform our lives praise god and paul walked in power because of the relationship with the holy spirit praise be to god the relationship with the holy spirit speaks louder than your word you may have many words but the holy spirit can transform everything in a twinkle of an eye praise be to god let me tell you who likes you does not matter servant of god who likes you does not matter but your value which you access it from the holy spirit will make people run to you the bible says that jesus and everybody loved jesus everybody wanted to be close to jesus why because jesus was valuable why was jesus valuable jesus was valuable because of the relationship he had with the holy spirit praise be to god the relationship with the holy spirit aha uh-huh. you'll come to learn that rules are made but the re- your relationship can violate rules hello rules are made yes man of god but your relationship can can violate rules what do i mean you know the relationship between you and the owner of the bank can give you grace to enter into the bank any time let me tell you banks are closed on fridays for regular people but your relationship with the owner of the bank can allow you to go into the bank on sunday and bank hallelujah the relationship your relationship with the holy spirit can give you access to access jesus at any time and receive an answer praise be to god you know sometimes we joke with the relationships we take relationships as things are to be joked with but i want us to understand today that relationships are very great things for our lives i want us to open the book of proverbs chapter number 18 verse 24 proverbs chapter 18 verse 24 aha uh-huh. i want us to read Uh, somebody read with us Proverbs 18:24 A man 
of many companions may come to ruin. But there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Hallelujah. Relationship. I want us to understand that there is a relationship which you can make for the transformation of your life. A relationship with a person who can speak close to you each and every time. Praise be to God. A person who can stick to you closer than the brother. A person who can stick to you closer than other friends. And this thing happens through relationship. Praise be to God. You know, Jesus speaks about the Sabbath. And you will come to understand that Sabbath is not meant for people. But people are meant for the Sabbath. What do I mean? Sabbath day can be every day. Depending to the relationship you have with God. Hallelujah. Relationship. Relationship. God can honor you because of the relationship you have with him. I know of people who can command cancer and cancer listens because of the honor they have received from God through relationship. Praise be to God. Your relationship with God can make you valuable in this generation. Your relationship with God can make you valuable in this generation. The relationship with God can make sickness obey you because you speak like God. Praise be to God. I want us to understand that God wanted us to serve like him. God created a man to be a God like him. Praise be to God. And we can only access the authority of a God through relationship. Let me remind us of this thing. When man was created by God, God gave man authority to name all the plants, all the trees, all the animals. The animals received a name from, from a man because of their relationship with God. And that is why when man sinned, he was removed from the garden of Eden. Eden from the presence of God. Praise be to God. Relationship. Your relationship with God can make you access thrones where no man can access. Let me remind us of something. The Bible says, and you will, you will walk before kings. You will dine with kings. You only dine with kings through the relationship with God. Taking you to kings. Praise be to God. The Bible says, and go and Jesus obtained favor from men and with God relationship. God knew that man let me let us remind us this thing. Jesus knew that he will not be valuable if he cannot obtain favor number one from man, number two from God. He knew that with favor from God, without favor from man, he will go nowhere. With favor from man, without favor from God, he will go nowhere. And he knew for me to access greater thrones, I need favor from man and from God. Some of us, we are struggling because we don't want favor from man. Some of us, we think that God will bless us with currency from heaven. Let me tell you, God has no currency of Kenya from heaven. Hello? If God releases his currency of heaven, 
the government of Kenya will reject and say no we cannot take this currency hallelujah that means that we have a currency in Kenya which a man has it and if you connect rightly with the right man you receive your currency relationships sometimes you meet a CEO who is to transform your life but you tend to look at that CEO with an evil eye you tend to look at that CEO angrily you tend to insult that CEO only to present your CV in a company and find that CEO as the owner of the company. You lose the job, not because you don't pray, because you don't have a relationship with the CEO. Praise God. I know some people who have been given jobs somewhere because I was just called and asked, man of God, do you know so and so? Yes. And the person is given a job. Praise God. Why? Because of the relationship I have with that employer. Tell your friend, don't destroy relationships. Tell your friend, maintain relationships. I want us to have a strategic structure for our growth. We have the right relationship. A strategic structure for an authoritative relationship. I want us to understand that you preserve relationships through honor. Honor is meant to preserve relationships. Praise be to God. The anointing you honor will bless you. Hallelujah. If you honor God, God will transform you. If you honor God, God will take you to greater heights. If you honor the Holy Spirit, your life is lifted to greatness because of honor. Praise be to God. Honor. Due to relationship, favor brings you together. with this man of God will make this man of God to go and fast for my betterment when I'm sick. Relationship. So that relationship gives me favor with this man. Hello? You, you, you normally wonder, uh, sir, you normally wonder why billionaires, a billionaire can come all the way from Kenya to you Board, uh, 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 board the best seat or, 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 or take his own plan to go to a, to a party of a born child of another billionaire. You wonder why? Because of the relationship this person wants to make. Do you think a one-year-old man, a one-year-old child needs a gift for a birthday? You hear them saying at a happy birthday, at you have just flown from another country to your country for a birthday party of a young child. Hello? It is not the birthday party. This person is taking charge of a good relationship. Hello? And that is why I want us to make good relationship. Call your friends. Don't, don't, call, don't call your uncle only because you want five shillings. Hello? Call your uncle to tell your uncle, Hello, uncle. Praise God. How is you? Then your uncle will remember you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Relationships. Don't call your pastor because you have a, 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 a heart problem. Call your pastor when you are well. Ask your pastor, how are you, Pasi? Are you faring well? Then when you have a heart problem, maybe you will not call the pastor. The Holy Spirit will talk to the pastor because of the relationship. Praise be to God. Relationship. I want us to understand this. Relationship requires one. Tolerance. Tolerance. 
you need to tolerate some things for a better relationship. Praise God. You may meet a servant of God. Maybe this servant of God you are calling the servant of God is not speaking. Don't start saying that, oh, this man is, is thinking that I'm poor. That is why he's not speaking the call. Let me tell you. Tolerance. One time you may receive a call from this servant of God until you praise God. Uh, you called me last week, but I was in prayer. And when I saw your call, I talked to God. And God said that your life is transforming. God spoke something for your life. Hallelujah. Tolerance. Number two, relationships are preserved by endurance. Hallelujah. Endurance. Let me tell you, there are some people you just have to endure them. They may have bad anger. They may be hot tempered. But these people carry greatness. Hallelujah. You meet this man of God. He has no time for you. Let me tell you, maybe this man of God has an answer for what you need. Let me tell you, you meet this billionaire. He's not interested to greet you. But one time this millionaire will remember you and award you a greater thing. And accept your CV because of the relationship. Maybe he met people when he ignored these people. These people insulted him. But you are the only person who told that, who told that billionaire. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Maintain relationship. Tell your friend, maintain your relationship. Tell another friend, maintain your relationship. Relationship. I want us to understand some few things which are important in a relationship. Five things which are important in relationships. And we will be clear with our today's topic concerning relationship. Number one, relationship needs trust. That is why your relationship with the Holy Spirit, the Bible says, trust in the Lord and don't rely on your own mind. Praise God. Trust. For you to have an authoritative relationship, you need trust. Without trust, you cannot have a glorious relationship. Without trust, you cannot have a good relationship with the Holy Spirit. Without trust, you cannot have a good relationship with some people who have betterment of your life. Praise be to God. Relationship. Number two. Relationship needs respect. Somebody you will read First Peter chapter number 2 verse 17. Relationship will need respect. Let us remember one thing. Respect is earned. Hello? And never put people in a difficult situation to respect you. Sometimes we put people in a difficult situation to respect us because of what we do. Because of what we say. Because of our living. But we need to earn respect. And for you to have a good relationship, you need respect. Number one, respect yourself. Praise be to God. And that is why Paul tells Timothy. In Timothy, chapter 4, verse 12. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young mean anybody can disrespect you. But you are the one to allow somebody to respect you or not. Then he is telling Timothy set a believer's example. For you to be respected you need to set a believer's example. For you to be respected you need to set a believer's example. Hallelujah. Respect. 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 Tell your
your friend respect another thing love an important key in a relationship is love that is why the bible tells us john 3:16 for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son because of love god gave because of love god gave. because of love you should give praise god a pillar of a relationship you have you need to have a good relationship with somebody give your time you want to have a good relationship with god give your time to god create your time to god because of love you give praise god give the bible records when you read in uh, in uh, in uh, uh, john 15 you come to understand that uh, the bible is telling us to love uh, to love our brothers now that is in first john chapter 4 the bible is telling us to love our brothers and is telling us that whoever does not love his brother he is a liar hello i noted if you can't love you are you can't love god if you don't love your neighbor you can't love good you don't see if you can't love your brother whom you see praise be to god love what do we understand about love love is taking care of somebody and something for their betterment if you love a person you will take care of that person praise god young men all over the world if you love a young woman you will not impregnate that young woman because before you are married hello because of love you protect that person that is why we are being told sex before marriage is sin why sex is good but it has its time and for you to protect the betterment of this young lady you protect the lady by avoiding what will destroy his or her life praise be to god when you love you protect you know what when joseph knew that the, 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 this person wants to have sex with him he ran why did he ran because of love hello he loved this lady too much to the next thing that he was not ready to sin with this lady he loved god so much to the next thing that he was not ready to violate the principles of god love praise be to god may god give us the grace of true love may god give us the grace to walk in love the name of Jesus the fourth principle key we need in a relationship is attention creating time creating time attention praise be to God you need to create time for God you need to create time for those people you love you need to create time for those people you cherish the last thing we need relationship we need we need in a relationship is communication praise be to god for us to have an authoritative relationship we need communication hello we need communication that is why the bible records have prayer because we will only communicate with god through prayer and for us to have a close intimacy with god we need prayers I want us to learn today that we need to preserve relationship. Sometimes we've been joking with people who carry our greatness. Sometimes we've been joking with people who carry our transformation because we joke with the relationships. But I want us to understand that relationships are things which can transform our life for a better end. Hallelujah. relationships relationship when 
you have a good relationship you transform your life your money is in a relationship your greatness is in the correct relationship both with man and with god you are a billionaire but your billions of money is inside a relationship your billions of money is inside the right relationship of the right businesses praise god just stand wherever you are as we are going to tell god this day 